Ahoy Pioneers, Team SC here with an update video for you. I am hanging out at this camp. I am surrounded by a pack of raptors, a quetz, and a t-rex. So ignore the noises. I'm just going to hang out here for safekeeping. But it's a beautiful day and I've got great news for you. So two days ago, after many, many long-awaited months, the Hunter Primal people actually uploaded an update. That's right, after months of waiting... They have finally updated the game. Now they did add some content. Uh, it's a couple of new weapons. You kill uh, the gold super rare dinosaurs and you can get special equipment. And if you get a gold T-Rex, you can get some glands to hunt the super T-Rex called the Queen, which is phenomenal. It is amazing to see this game still changing and getting updates because we've been waiting for them for a very, very long time. So now I'm here today to kind of talk to you. They did actually post... Uh, survey. It looks like right now they want to hear from the community and see what we have to say regarding where we want this game to go and what we want to see improvements on, which is amazing. So I thought I would make this video kind of give my input. I'll also leave a link to the survey in the description so you guys can go and let them know what you think and hopefully we can get some changes happening to this game because we have been waiting a long time and I am excited. It has been months since I have logged into Primal Eden and it is still a beautiful place to hang out besides all the dinosaurs trying to kill me and stuff anyways so let me get to it I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of talk about things I want to see and some changes I would like to see in the game I do love the updates that they have um, well I kind of don't like that you have to hunt the gold dinosaur so it's gonna take like a good amount of time to get all the stuff but I mean it is something to work for which is what they were going for with this update anyways to keep people playing and keep people hunting longer now what I would like to see I'm going to break it up into about four categories. Well, first one, obviously, everyone wants to see new dinosaurs. I mean, specifically, I think the game is hurting for more herbivores, because um, all there is is a triceratops. There needs to be some variety there. You know, like Ankyl Ankylosaurus, Stegosaurus. Um, I don't have any specific needs for specific dinosaurs. What I want to see from the new dinosaurs is I want them to force players to have to hunt in a certain way or survive in a certain way, if that makes sense. Like, for example, if they add, like, you know, uh, Ankylosaurus, with those you want to try to crouch and kind of shoot for... Oh my god, it's a T-Rex right there. Just hanging out. I can't even hear him because of the rain. That's why I'm hanging out here. See, walls are pretty good. Um, let me check. I wonder if it's a gold one. I don't think it is. Nah, he's not one of the rare T-Rexes. Or we would try to hunt him solo. It's okay. He doesn't want any of this anyways. Okay, but uh, pretty much the dinosaurs. They need to create new ways for players to hunt. Like, for example, um, like if they had Ankylosaurus, you know, a big armored back. You know, you don't want to shoot the back. It's not going to do much. But then maybe you want to, like, crawl, sneak up on and try to get a chest shot with a slug or something or to kill him. But you got to watch out because they'll hit you with their tail. Or maybe, like, the... Pachycephalosaurus, the little headbutting one. You know, those you wanna, you don't wanna just walk by it. If you walk by it, maybe you'll aggro it and it'll try to headbutt you or something. You know, I I don't have any specifics, but I'm what I want to see from the new dinosaurs. I want them to make new ways to hunt or new ways to like hide and try to survive. Which brings me to my next topic: the new items. Now, not necessarily just weapons. I would like to see more gear in general. I talked about this in my last video where I wanted to see some more utility out of the weapons and kind of, you know, more variety of interactions players can have with the AI and the dinosaurs on the map. So, like, an example of this would, like, you know, maybe we can introduce a flare gun. You can equip it to the third weapon slot right here where they would normally be, like, the machete or the axe. Um, kind of on the third slot, but with the flare gun, what's special about that is you could use it to scare away maybe Velociraptors or Utah Raptors. So let's say you get in a pinch, you accidentally aggro a bunch and they're stalking you and you can't get out. You can use your flare gun in a pinch to kind of save yourself, make them run away for a little bit, to buy you some time to run off. Or maybe the flare gun does two things. Maybe it does that, but if there's a T-Rex in the area, the light attracts the T-Rex and then they'll come charging in. You know, So it's kind of like I have a lure and I have a way out if I get myself in a tough spot, which is awesome. Uh, another idea would be maybe climbing ropes. You know, there's so many cliffs here. I've fallen down cliffs to my death so many times and lost my items on the mountain. Now, sometimes I just run off the cliff because I don't want to get eaten by a T-Rex. I mean, real talk. But what I'm saying is, maybe if they're, you know, maybe not climbing ropes that go up. 
but maybe if you're already up the hill you can plant a rope and climb down and while your server's active the rope just stays there so you can climb up or down and that would be awesome let's say there's a t-rex chasing you i'm running i'm running i'm getting to a tight spot but the cliff is pretty close maybe i can use my climbing rope and just climb down and get away from the t-rex or if i'm like hunting a t-rex and he's getting too close i haven't killed him yet i can run up and start climbing my rope up to get out of danger or you you know that that's what i want to see i want to see items that create more utility and kind of a player interactions with the ai my other idea for the trike collar you know you know it baits the triceratops but maybe it can scare away the little velociraptors like the little annoying things um i do have one idea for a weapon though down here, you know, because newer players you just spawn the bottom islands, and that's where all the more basic settler camps are with these little pitchforks. You know, there's all that wood there. I mean, why aren't there just like some basic spears, you know? Maybe pick up the basic spear. It could be weaker than the machete. Um, have like the basic spear equipped to the weapon slot 3. You know, it could be heavy, so not ideal to keep, but if you're a new player, you know, you'll take whatever you can get. And, you know, have it do just, like, minor melee damage, but it would be cool with the spear is if, like, you right-click, and then uh, it goes into, like, this kind of aimer mode, and then you can actually throw your spear to do, like, heavy damage one time. So let's say um, you're there fighting, you're killing a couple of Velociraptors, but then the Utah Raptor comes, and your spear's not going to do the trick, maybe you can throw it just to get, like, a one-time kill on the Utah Raptor. Um, but that's what I want to see. I want to see more gear in general, not necessarily just weapons. I want to see more gear that kind of sparks interactions with the dinosaur AI or the environment and help you survive and, like, you know, climb down. You know, just it, it makes sense. You guys get what I'm talking about. Uh, moving on to the environment, actually. What I would like to see, you know, it hasn't been played with. There's the purple plants that hurt you. There's a couple mushrooms that heal you and a couple mushrooms that hurt you. But I would like to see more just... You know, just items on the map, you know, maybe a little patch of berries that heals half your health. Maybe some more plants for that are like red, but a newbie might not know, but they do critical damage to you if you eat them. Uh, you know, just a bunch of that to play. It would be fun, you know, just like all the different plants and probably eat them. You know, players who play a lot, they know what you can eat and what you can't. A newbie player, you know, maybe eat a plant and just die. <laughs> I think it would be phenomenal, you know, just... All in all, I want things that spark more interactions from the players. Uh, that create just different ways for you to play and hunt and survive. Um, dinosaur bones, dinosaur carcasses, I said this before, you know, just it's easy fix. Just put dead dinosaurs on the map. It makes it look like there's so many more dinosaur species on this island. Um, and it would be pretty, pretty for the scenery. Now, this other part, zones, they already kind of have it. Um, it's not like official, but like when you're walking, let's say, to the forest, it changes like the music. Or when you're walking out into like the hill area, the music changes and has like different vibes. And, you know, they have separated the species to where they spawn, but <coughs> it would be cool. I'm like, you know, why don't they just like name part of the islands? Let's say I'm walking over here into the forest and it's like uh, Raptor Hollow, or I'm walking out here and it's like Tyrannosaurus Hills. Uh, you know, just kind of give different areas of the item. Uh, uh, different areas of the island more uh you know meaning he likes whatever's cove and you know just you know different areas so that way players can like address parts of the map and i would also like to see the more dinosaur specific oh why am i trying to say this like for example what i'm trying to say is like let's say i'm going over here and this part's like raptors hollow you know players need to be wary when they go there because here you know they'll be crazy high raptor spawns like packs of like six to nine so you have to be seasoned and be very careful before you go to like this part of the island or you know that's what i want to see like you know don't go here because there's a bunch of raptors so if you're like new and not trying to die you want to avoid this area unless you have like a hunting party um maybe here tyrannosaurus rex hall is not a lot of cover but the t-rex are patrolling i mean you know t-rex already spawn in the open fields but i want to see like part of the areas that are more just densely concentrated with more danger you know because i would love to just go somewhere with a whole bunch of raptors and just being completely scared of for my life just hunting and you know especially when they introduce more species i like to see it different you know this bottom part of the island's already kind of the newbie area you catch like one or two raptors by themselves occasionally uh maybe triceratops which is you know a good start that's what i want to see you know like kind of newbie island as you go up there's more little parts but little areas are more dangerous than other 
and you know it wouldn't be that hard to fix like you walking in the music changes and it goes raptors hollow just kind of subtle pop-up of words like this is a different area you're in you know just uh my two cents about kind of the zones and give you more meaning to different areas of the island last thing i would like to see this is more just kind of player perks like let's say we're playing and you know you have incentive to level because you can get new weapons and buy your camo in the store but i would like to see just a little more perks for getting levels let's say every 10 levels some ideas i have are maybe your stamina bar gets increased you know it doesn't have to be a big increase maybe just 10 percent so every 10 levels you get 10 percent when you're at level 50 you can run one and a half times as much as you could as a you know beginner and you know it makes sense because if you're level 50 you're obviously an experienced hunter slash survivor so you should have those perks and let your character be a better hunter and survivor in the game uh, other ideas maybe your crouch speed i mean look how s slow you go maybe as you level up every 10 levels you get a small bonus to that speed or maybe just once you get level 50 you maybe move at least twice as fast while you're crouched you know um, other things as you level maybe your carrying capacity increases you know i've been walking across this island for like days i should be like all muscular and super built i should be able to carry more than i did when i was a fat cheeto eating prisoner who just landed here running for his life just my two cents some player perks for leveling would be awesome and also give more meaning to like pvp Ooh, and there's a raptor here wonder was this a rare one Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, the whole pack came. Well, I'm not going to mess with them just yet. I am finishing my video. You guys can eat me later. Uh, but that brings me the survey. If you guys liked any of these ideas or agree with them or have your own ideas, please leave some comments below. Please fill out that survey that they posted and let's get some uh, feedback on here going, okay? That would be phenomenal. Please let the developers know I want to get these ideas out there. Developers, if you're watching, you've done a great job with the game so far. I am looking forward to seeing the improvements. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, the survey does ask you some other questions. I think they're trying to decide what direction they want to go more. There's one that was like, in 1 through 5, what's your favorite aspects of the game? Like being horror versus survival versus hunting versus exploration and uh forgot what the last one was but i mean they're all phenomenal i said that hunter primal was kind of like a fusion of hunting and survival i didn't pick either one but i said my favorite aspect of it was the horror which is actually true my favorite moments have been running for my life or getting ambushed by a t-rex or raptors kind of stalking me and coming out of nowhere that is really what has made this game defining for me now i'm not saying it all has to be horror but i would like you know, carnivores do need to be scary. Um, add some more herbivores, and that comes back to zoning. You know, if you're a player who wants to hunt, but you don't want to be scared or running for your life, you know, you're going to hunt in the parts of the island that have primarily herbivores. You know, and that way you can have your happy hunting. But if you're a player who likes to be scared out of your mind or just really wants a challenge or you just want to go in with your buddies and see how many raptors you can take and kind of have a little shoot 'em up at the north side of the island, then that's where zoning comes in. This part of the zone, dangerous, a lot of raptors. This area, not dangerous, a lot of herbivores, maybe an occasional carnivore. You know, that's going to make this game, that's going to help the whole player base. And, you know, people can hang on the parts of the island where they want to go the most, and depending on what kind of hunt they want to have. Like me, I like to be scared, I like to hunt carnivores. I like to try to ambush them, I like to not get eaten, I like to be able to run away from a T-Rex have him get this close to killing me and then boom I drop out the rope and I'm able to climb down and be alive you know just my two cents so let them know what you think I definitely want to see this game grow and it does look like they are willing and trying to you know help out the community so maybe I'll upload another video once I actually can find a rare Rex and hunt the Queen post that up for you guys let me know what you think like I said do that survey below let the developers know what you think till then happy hunting guys till next time